Thank you for tuning in to the mini of the Book Marketing Tips and Author Success Podcast. This is Penny Santaveri and Amy Cornell. And we are here. To, this is a, such a favorite topic of mine. I mean, and I mean favorite in that we hear this so much. Um, good enough and everyone will love it are two fatal things that authors say when we talk to them. Mm-hmm. Um Amy, do you want to do you want to lead this off? Because I know we both have very strong opinions. Again, it feels like we're just using this podcast as our diary, and we really aren't. I promise. You know, you. I'm telling you, I think we could sell a lot of like merch with. I have really strong opinions about this because <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people could resonate. But um, yeah, truly. So we get this kind of a lot when people are exploring how best to, especially when it comes up when people are preparing for a new release where we say, well, you know, it's good enough or they have this idea that everyone is going to love it anyway. I will say a couple examples that the everyone will love it. A lot of times comes down to an author that say they have a big uh, social following on social media, you know, like, oh, I've got X number of followers on Instagram and on Facebook and We can tell you very honestly that that means nothing. Honestly, uh, there's been uh, celebrities, well-known people that have a following that are very much one in particular. We won't name names, but she was very self-aware. And she said, these are not the people that will be buying my book. So I need to be more creative. And it was brilliant. And it was very smart. I think the other one we get with that a lot is that, again, just personal networks like, oh, I have a really big family or everybody I work with or everybody that does the same type of job as me is going to love this book. And it's like, that's a, that's a great, I don't, I don't know what the right words are. I mean, it's good to have confidence, but you can't make predictions about sales, right? You know, that there's nothing that can absolutely predict sales only because of, oh, well, I know this number of people or my social media is great. So this is kind of the everyone will love it kind of concept is that you think you have all these things set up in place, but there's nothing that guarantees that those people are going to actually follow through. So you need to have, if if you're insisting that's your plan A, (laughs) You know, please have a plan B, C, D, E, and F as well for other things you are going to do to rely on sending traffic to your book page and getting some engagement, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely true. And then the other, the other piece, the other, the other side of that coin is the good enough, right? So, you know, I mean, I I think that, that there's, um, at some point you do have to walk away from your book and say, okay, I'm done editing it. I'm done tinkering with it. Like I get that completely because I could keep editing my book forever and I would never publish anything. But the good enough piece of it is, and we're going to do a separate conversation on book covers, um, maybe in the next batch of episodes that we record. But, you know, my book cover is good enough. Um, The editing, well, you know, I didn't really get, I got one edit pass and it's really, it's good enough. And I'll tell you right now that good enough is we just recorded a mini-sode on book reviews. Good enough is what winds up getting you the one and two star reviews on Amazon. So be careful of that. And again, I realize it is a fine line, but I think if you've done, you know, if you've done your editing and your cover is solid and things like that, um, and and your research, depending on what you wrote your book about. I mean, I think that you've done all your due diligence and I think it's a good product. You can get it out there in the world, but the good enough stuff is kind of like, ah, you know, that just always makes me very nervous when I talk to somebody and they say, well, you know, I think it's good enough. It's like, or it, or it is what it is, or, uh, I, don't really, or I, I don't really, I don't really care about it or, you know what I mean? Things like that. So like, even, you know, Penny, you say it all the time. Everything is your resume everything is good enough. Okay. For a resume. Yeah. Does that, I I hope that doesn't make sense to anybody listening, you know? So, but everything you put out there as an author is your resume. So a website that is, you know, uh, that's not current that talks about your upcoming release that actually released back in December, you know, that kind of stuff, that's not good enough. But it's like, but I have a website. Isn't that good enough? It's like, no, actually in nowadays, it's absolutely not. And this is not to stress everybody out 
Um, you know, but because doing a big kind of cleanup of what you have out there and, and what your brand is, you know, if you do a nice review of everything and clean everything up going forward, it gets a lot easier, you know? Um, but it, it is truly good enough is not good enough anymore. Mm -mm. No, it really isn't. And, 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 and that's really what we're about in this podcast is to make sure that you, you know, to get you to, to get hopefully listening and up-leveling your success and getting, um, you know, getting this book out there, that's just really outstanding. And, you know, we see, I see books all the time that I just think, oh my gosh, this is just absolutely brilliant. And you could really, really tell. And, and if I can tell readers can tell, um, you can really, really tell when a reader has, when, a, when an author has really invested their time in a book and made it the best that it could possibly be. Um, so we want to thank you again for tuning in, um, to the book marketing tips and author success podcast mini sode. This is Penny Sansbury and Amy Cordell, and we will see you next time. Once again, we appreciate reviews wherever you listen to podcasts. Thank you. Bye-bye.